Everybody, welcome back, Falcon XCOM Long War. Let's get the game going on over here. So, um, last episode, or I'm not sure what I was doing last episode. Valen, you need to be quiet right now. I'm trying to, you know, first and foremost, lower your voice. You're you're always so loud. You're always in my ear, hollering and screaming. You and Doctor Chen alike. Either way, I was um, reading some of the comments recently, and by the way, I got a a lot of you guys have been leaving some good comments. So, by the way, thank you for that. Uh, the other people, some have been more in depth than others, and for that, I, I want to thank you. So, I think it's Zale. Zale and Chronochism and uh, Victor Nunez, I want to say. They're kind of the three that kind of stand out right now, but a lot of you guys have been leaving me comments, which uh, thank you for that because I think I'm not the greatest in the ground game, but I'm semi decent. What's more of a problem for me is um, getting builds going on, the whole aerial battle, researching and stuff, because, you know, Long War just um, takes everything and multiplies it completely. It makes it a lot more in-depth and you kind of have to know what you're going to be going for. Otherwise, you can kind of shoot yourself in the foot in the long run here. So for that, thank you guys for, for you know, being really in-depth about that. Um, let's see. One of the few things I was told is um, you need about like 50 or so soldiers, 40 to 50. We have 37, so let me go about, we do have 384, you know, credits, right? So let me go and pump this number up to 50 for now. Get the even 50, good to go. Um, in terms of building facilities over here, fission generator from over here, my screen just blacked out, so that means I had to cut the video, so I apologize for that if I just suddenly cut in here. Um, this right here is going to be for the steam generator. I don't think we have enough money for that right now, though, do we? Um, where is that bad boy at? Thermal generator, 350. No, we don't. Uh, maybe for the council report, could help us out with that one, though, and that would be good to go. We have a laboratory, and the other thing we haven't built yet. Do we even have power for anything? No, we don't. So, I mean... I have things that I kind of want to build, but we need the power for it first and foremost. And then in terms of building items here, everything seems to be alright. Now, in terms of the air game, let me go into the hangar here. <clears throat> Remember, I sent this bad boy over here, and I think that was a bad idea. Edit loadout. Stingray missiles, avalanche missiles. Um... I think I read a comment and said, I should probably be using the Stingrays instead of the Avalanche Missiles. So, if that's going to be the case, then confirm that. That'll be 12 hours before it actually changes some um, weaponry. I don't really like that too much, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, that one's still repairing for my 9 more days, and then this bad boy over here, you might as well go into Stingrays as well. There you go. Now, this guy's in transit. The moment this guy gets to North America, I probably... Here's the thing, I need, at the very least, is what I read in the comments, that I need at least four aircrafts in each, in each area, and I don't just have enough money for that. I could hire another one in the U.S., though. <clears throat> it would cost $200, but, you know, it'd be two. It wouldn't be four that I need, but at the same time, I could uh, send that satellite over the U.S., and I think that would be pretty good, right? So let's go and do that. We'll do initial cost. Sure, go ahead and do it. That would be ready in three days. That one's in transit in 16 days. Okay, and then we have 12 hours, 12 hours, and 9 days. So for 12 hours, we're going to be a little bit um, open in the sky. Let me go into the situation room. We'll launch a satellite. We do have one, right? We'll put this bad boy over the U.S. because I've heard the U.S. and um, Asia also gives you pretty good benefits. So, U.S., you will get a satellite. Satellite launched. There you go. Alrighty. Well, that's pretty much it. Now we just go into mission control and scan for some activity for something here. <clears throat> Ships gonna arrive in North America, and alien weaponry is gonna be done. So let's go back and assign some more research here. Get out of here. Scope, new item available when equipped. This advanced targeting module integrates with XCOM's Active H HUD system to offer a significant increase to our soldier's aim. So that would be even better than the laser sights. We also have the weapon gyros, which is for the the ships, is it? No, weapon gyros help our mech, yeah, our ships. Mechanized units balance their primary weapon while firing, conferring a small aim bonus. So that would be like their quote-unquote scope. Alrighty, so now that we have that, we need beam lasers. That's the other thing I, I should be rushing to anyway. Alrighty. Now, we're, we're really broke right now. So... Scope. Where is the rebuild ship? Scope. Here we go. 80. Don't have enough for it, unfortunately. When is our 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 next um, expand event list? Council reports in two days. You know what? I could actually wait. So I'm not gonna sell anything yet. I'm just gonna hope for the council report to come in and give us some money, assign new construction. Um, I wanted to, but you, you know what? We have no money, so we have to wait. So scan for some activity. What do you guys want? India wants eight weapon fragments. We have 27 for an engineer. Ugh. This right here, you guys. Um, if you guys could leave me some tips on this one, this would be really 
beneficial like what should I send and what I shouldn't send because I'm inclined to give everything I have just because it gives me like you know some rewards that one I will do for now because I feel that we could get weapon fragments relatively easy and here is gonna be our first console report grade A we got two scientists nine hundred and fifteen dollars or credits I should say I mean we did really good I mean I was expecting to be pretty good on this because of um, everything that we did so, I mean, yeah, I got it, console. I got it. Yeah, you'll be watching. It's very creepy. Thanks for, you know, invading my privacy. So, build facilities. This right here needs to be a thermal generator. It's going to cost us $350, but that one's going to actually keep us um, up and running for quite a while. So, we'll get that one up and running. Over here, we have a laboratory. I kind of want to start building my... my workshop, honestly. What does the founder do? Develop new item, new combat items, or improve current? Um, workshop is going to be reduced item cost by 10% and gives 10% refund of materials. Um, that could be also pretty beneficial. However, is this the best spot for it? Is what I'm a little bit broken up about right now. <clears throat> because we would have to connect them. So I think the best one would be to have it here and then connect on the bottom, right? So we'll do workshop over on this side. Begin construction. There you go. Are we, like, literally broke now? We honestly are. We have 159 credits, so... <laughs> you know, easy come, easy go, right? Um, and we might as well get two of these scopes built then. Quantity 2, requirement 160. Oh, really? We're one credit short? You can't, you know, do me a solid here and just kind of overlook that one extra credit? Dr. Chen, you asshole. Alrighty, pending request. Satellite transfer, yeah. I I'm sorry, guys, I would love to help you out, but I just don't have the satellites for it right now. So we'll go into Gray Market. We just need to sell one item at the very least, so what if we do... Not meld. Ugh. Just need one, right? Okay. Commander, I'll sell one. The artifact we're about to sell to the council hasn't been examined by the research team. Yeah, I know it hasn't been examined yet. I get it. It was just one, though. Don't worry. It's just one. I, I... If we put financial gains... Let's just hope that that one doesn't come back by me. Yeah, so no more hirees. We need an engineering. We need to build some items. And we need two scopes, right? So manufacture two of these bad boys. How long will this take? Ten days. That's a little bit excessive. How much would it take with meld? Five days, eight meld? No. Build normally. Alrighty. Good. Doing a lot of uh, work in here, but you know, it's stuff that's required anyway. So scan for activity. Contact detected. Germany, scout class, okay. So the other thing I was told is that I don't necessarily have to fight every scout. Scouts are just basically out here to kind of, um, on a quote-unquote mission, right? So, the ones that I really need to worry about are, like, the ones that, you know, try to battle you. The scouts don't really do that. Uh, I guess just by... I've been told that just by engaging them and then disengaging them, you've already dropped their chance, their chance of success by 50%. So, um, I mean, that's what I was told. I'm not sure if I was lied to. I hope not, but... Okay. Firefly. So, you're gonna go into... an aggressive mode and see if that does anything for us. Again, I am not opposed to just aborting this as soon as possible. So if we take one nasty hit, we landed two shots. We landed three shots. We landed four shots. Excellent. Alrighty. So, I mean, we're going to be out for a little while, but um, we took it down. Can't be mad about that. Laboratory in six days, and here is the one over the U.S. Now, this one is one that we do need to fight. Do we have enough? Uh, oh, we just have the avalanche missiles, too. That's a problem. Let me go to Hangar really quickly. You need to be renamed. Okay. And unfortunately, I would love to get you with the other missiles. The problem is that um, it would take you out of the game for 12 hours, and I don't think we have 12 hours right now, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll try it. Alright, Bluto. Good luck to you. This is the one that's going to try to shoot down my satellite. Okay. Landed one. We need to go. Alrighty. So, um, we, we had to go. We have one more. It's flying around there still. 20 days is gonna be out. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, that's gonna really hurt. Especially when I have no more money for, um, any more interceptors over in the U.S. Alrighty. We'll try this again. Closing on target. Missed. Landed. Missed. We need to go. Okay, so that's going to be a problem now. With any luck, it won't shoot down my 
satellite, though, and the worst it will do is just, I don't know, try to invade something, do a terror mission. Who knows? I'm not sure. Engineer. <clears throat> Dispatch one. Eight for one. Um, Kind of running pretty low on it, but yeah, sure, why not? Let me go into my hangar. Don't have enough money for the actual crafts over here. You're still out for 13 days, huh? Let me edit your loadout since you're out. Meanwhile, might as well do that. And go into stingrays, confirm. <clears throat> Ultimately, the end goal is that people are telling me I should do laser weaponry for these guys, but you know, that's not available to me right now. I could send this dude over here, but these guys are going to be out for still a little while longer. Order interceptor. Yeah, I can't do it. So we need to get a bit more money, honestly. Like a uh, abduction mission. There we go. That could be really helpful right now. Eighty dollar, uh, eighty credits. It'll be enough. So um, let's do it. All right, guys, and we're back here. So we have uh, we're gonna be taking one medic this time around, and then just a bunch of rookies. So we're gonna be going with um Yebdeb, the medic over here. She's just um a spec right now. So at the very least, it'll probably give us a chance to level up to Lance Corporal. So there you go. Then we're gonna be taking Cheesy Nipples as one of our kind of a assault. Quasi assault classes here with some laser sights and some flashbang because that's really important. This guy is who? The foods. The foods are to be taking the um, sleeves over here just for the extra HP because I was told that I should probably aim for about six HP so that you know we're not liable to get killed in only one shot and we could actually survive a shot. So that's gonna be really beneficial. Laser sight and um, another flashbang for this guy. Who is this individual? Finley. Finley. You're also gonna be rocking the sleeves along with HE and medic. You're kind of like a backup medic. Then this guy's gonna be, uh, just my scanner in a sense, right? So you have ceramic plating because you had really low HP, so that should put you up into the sixes right there. And then finally we have, um, Crimson Brizzle. <clears throat> Sleeves as well, just for the extra HP. You're also gonna be a quasi-assault, so HE and the laser sight. That's everybody, right? Alright, so guys, I'll see you guys in the ground floor. Alright guys, and here we go, we're in the ground floor, and it's gonna be one of the, um, train track missions, which I'm not necessarily too fond of. I kinda hate this mission, but... It is what it is. So let me first and foremost try to find out what my boundaries are. We're gonna go be going down. Oof, pretty down south. Okay, so or north, I guess whatever your conception of um, locations is right there. So over there, and we're we're kind of close to one boundary at the very least. So that much we do know. And then we're looking up to how far ahead are we looking here? Up to there. Okay. So what I'm thinking is probably we go straight ahead and then circle to the left, or do we just go straight up over on this side? You know, the map kind of extends down that way a lot, so I'm worried that we might trigger something here and here and then get stuck in a situation where we have two pods going, so we're just going to be going up this way and then kind of simplify things as we circle about. So, let's start it off here. So we have Cheesy Nipples as our first dude. Where are you supposed to be? You're my flashbang. I think you're one of my attack, or quasi-attack people, right? So that's the case. Move over here. That's going to be at least some sort of full cover for you. We already saw sectoids. So I'm kind of glad that we went this route instead. I mean, obviously they're going to have some decent cover over here, which is a problem, but... Uh, not a problem that's not too far for us to kind of manage here. So, Finley. What are you going to be doing, Finley? Finley is deadly afraid of trains too, by the way. He only travels by air. That or he's just very smug about the whole thing. Finley, what are, what are we going to do with you here? HE grenade, so you're also a quote-unquote attack force, right? Okay. Um... I say we just move over here for now. You do have shots. 17 and 32. Not really good. So we'll just have you hang out here for a second while I move things. Now, the thing I want to do right now is dash. No dashing for this one because we're just going to kind of wait and see what the aliens decide to do over here. So I'm going to also put the foods back into some sort of full cover. Again, if we could try to get a flank, like get ourselves around to them, it'd be great. But we're not going to completely bank on that alone. We have uh, Reader Like or Reader Like. I don't know, man. I'm trying my best here. That's going to be really minimal cover for you. So I'm thinking you could probably come over here. Can somebody else actually make it? Oh, you can. Yep, Dev, my medic can make it all the way out here. Okay. So that's probably the best spot for you. Go and hang out over here. You don't have a shot, but we'll probably have just have you overwatch or something. Crimson Brizzle. Okay. Now, Crimson Brizzle. You could go over here or over there. And then you, reader like, you're kind of the dude with the small movement speed here because I think you're also rocking the crimson plating or I'm not sure it's crimson plating but you're, you're rocking the ceramic plating that's what I was looking for because you had really low HP and then crimson brittle you come over here alrighty I think all we do now is just um, overwatch 
and see if they come to us and, you know, I doubt they will, but we'll see. More than likely, they will be just uh, melding and going into Overwatches themselves. We'll, we'll put me in a kind of a difficult spot here because we don't really have... Yep, Overwatch and Overwatch. Yeah, big surprise, right? Alrighty, aliens. You're going to play it defensively as well. Okay. So we would like to trigger these, but without dying. How am I going to do that? Well, <laughs> I'm not going to do it with my medic because, you know, if somebody... Does, if this goes wrong, our medic could always heal whoever is right there. Cheesy nipples, you are my... Attack, dude. Crimson Brizzle. Hi, Crimson. I'm going to dash you over here in hopes that you trigger these overwatches from afar. I hope that one doesn't have a chance to hit you. Okay, good. I imagine it wouldn't have hit him because, you know, there's boxes there and shit, so... We got one of the overwatches out of the way, but not the one that counts, which is this one right there. That was the one that kind of worries me significantly. Alrighty, the foods. You could probably trigger that one. However, do I want to trigger that one? And if I do, from where? This is kind of his line of sight over here, right? So running behind him should probably be a little bit safer. Don't hold me to that. Yeah, I don't want to send... I want to send cheesy nipples there, but after we get rid of this, um... Overwatch. I don't think you could sneak a flash grenade up there either, right? No. A little bit out of your way. So my medic... You could probably give it a try. Although I feel a little bit better doing it with Ryder Like. So what if um, Ryder Like just kind of dashes over here? Oh, why would you take that pad? Go around! Now you might be in trouble. Okay. That was a miss. Mind you, I was trying to trigger that Overwatch, but I was hoping he would take the other path around instead of uh, the one that puts him right in front of this guy. But that's okay. We got the Overwatches out of the way, so now he can be a little bit more aggressive and actually probably take some shots here. Alright, so Duff Foods. There's nowhere to move you where you're going to have a shot, not without dashing. And I don't want to move you too close over here because we could trigger something on that side. So probably this would probably be your best bet for now. Maybe even that one. Alright, I'm going to move you over here. Please don't... Oh, oh, great. A Seeker as well. I'm happy about that one. You know, strangulation. It's always fun. Especially when, you know, it's with a consenting adult. Kids. Just an FYI. Yep, Deb. Alrighty. So now we have a Thin Man on the side and we have uh, these guys over here. Exactly the opposite of what wanted happening over here. So, Yeb Deb. I'm in a tricky spot now, Yeb Deb. You have to hopefully take me out of the spot here. You have a few shots. What do you have? 40? 50. I mean, fuck, man. We gotta get rid of some of these guys, but at the same time, we're kind of out in the open over here, so I feel like just dropping out a smoke grenade for now and just kind of playing it a bit safe. Especially with these guys, who could be in a position to be flanked by that Thin Man posse over there. But we do need an Overwatch as well for the incoming um, Seeker, Finley. Alrighty, Finley. Let me have you go and hang out over here. Maybe you could sneak an Overwatch and that Seeker when you get the chance. We'll see. So you Overwatch from this side. Nipple still hasn't made a move. Alrighty. Nipples, you could probably go over here. And if we do that, then I'll probably just drop the smoke grenade because we'll be able to cover the majority of my party over here. So you go into Overwatch, and then, yep, Deb, you're just going to drop the smoke grenade on... Oh, please tell me I can get five of you. No, I can't. It's either the left four or the right four. Well, I feel that whoever's over there on the right is a little bit more defensively prone than us. So we have to go with this one, right? Can I sneak it? Can I just sneak it? Nope. <laughs> it's not going to let me. Alrighty, so we go on this side. I'm pretty sure whoever's that on the right side should be relatively safe. Mind you, I just probably jinxed that person to their death, but that's okay. Now we wait. We wait and see. Alright, that was thankfully a miss right there because we needed that one to happen. Seeker, are you going to come by? You know, Seeker comes by and triggers my overwatches and good. You're taking a shot, suppressed, okay. Now, Seeker, I hope Seeker comes after us, so we can just kind of take care of him now. Oh! I could have sworn I put him into Overwatch. Well, that just turned a fucking turn for a worse. Now, didn't it? What? 
Oh, smoke grenade, how could you? Okay, well, the foods. Where is Yep dead? Right, so, I mean, we could still, you know, get this person up and running. That's not a big concern right now. Who was it? You right here? Are you the, uh, quote-unquote diseased individual? Okay, so we'll try to get to you soon. Just give me a second here. We have to make a few moves. Crimson Brizzle, where are you going to come to make a move for me? Is the real question. Okay. I don't think you have a shot from anywhere, honestly. Okay, you do have a shot. Not on what I was hoping for, but, yeah, we need to start causing some damage over here, so that's one damage at the very least. The foods, okay. The foods, you could run back over here and probably get a shot off over here, but the problem is I don't think you'll be able to get into any sort of cover afterward. Who's in Overwatch? I mean, um, yeah, he was in Overwatch. I was perfectly aware of that. I just wanted to make sure that everything was going fine here. So you hopefully kill this thing. That's not going to happen, unfortunately. You're being flanked, by the way, so... Uh, we need to get rid of... Whoever's <laughs> flanking you, which is that over there. Finley. Deb. And Ryder Like. Alrighty, so Finley. If you could land this shot, it would be really, really helpful to me right now. The chances you actually landed are really slim to none. You have an HE grenade. Okay. Um, here is what we do. Some Thin Man over here needs to go as well. Three damage. He's got some cover on him. I'm going to toss this grenade over here. Alrighty, no damage didn't really break down the cover I was hoping for either. So now we're even a bigger tough pickle than I thought we were. Alrighty, so Ryder Lee, Lee K. You could come over here and get rid of the Seeker. So let's do that. We'll take care of that predicament first, right? 41. That's really the only shot you have. Please don't miss. It's not like I really needed to hit that anyway. Oh, uh, Yeb Deb. Yeb Deb. What are we looking at here? I mean, he's fucking, and there's so many of them, man. Alright, here, here we go, Yep, Deb. You have to move over here. You don't have any more smoke grenades either. But you also have to revitalize that person that died over there, so... We'll have to come back to them. That's all I can say right now at this point. We need to get rid of this fucking Seeker. 38, really? Well, that's a shot. Why land a shot? Who needs to land a shot? Stealth mode? And you just pop back in. Another strangulation. That's good. You know, it's not like I need to move that unit or anything. Remember, one of our soldiers is still being flanked, so that's what kind of worries me. Are you going to mind meld again? Alright. Well, you guys love doing that. Yeah, right now, I'd rather take some mind melts. We have two people being flanked. Sure, we're being flanked, but let me tell you right now, these have to be some pretty amazing shots, by the way. They're, they're kind of far off. <clears throat> that's the reason why I didn't really move them out of flanking position, because I felt that, you know... It would have to be quite the shot from these goddamn, um, sectoids to actually land in there. What are you doing? Why don't you leave this person alone? <laughs> Just leave nipples alone, man. Alrighty, leave the nipples alone. Okay. I guess it's just trying to make sure that I don't go over there and um, stabilize the individual. <clears throat> Rider like. So Overwatch over here, half cover over there, and this guy is just about in his end's notice here. So the first thing we do, I think, is actually take out of this, uh, take the seeker out of here. So Rider like, you're not going to be in any cover right here, which is what worries me. But then again, your shot's always so fucking terrible. What is it? Oh, 37. See, it's just so bad. So I think you have no choice but to go over here. Get closer and maybe now you'll land this goddamn shot. 51 only. Okay, we have to take it either way. I'm so pissed off right now that apparently any of these shots on the side are just the, the worst shots of all time. You come over here then. I really don't want to get the kill with my medic, but... Jesus Christ, six... <laughs> okay. I was about to blow a gasket on that one if we missed again. All right, Crimson Brit Bristle. Finley, we need to get you behind some cover first and foremost, right? So you come and hang out over here. I don't want that Thin Man flanking you afterwards, so we have that. Crimson Bristle, let's see. We need to revitalize that person soon. You do have an HE grenade. 
not entirely sure what I want to use it for just yet. <clears throat> if I put you here, you're in trouble because of that, um, best shot of all time Thin Man over there. And you're also in trouble over on this side. Not sure how to play this right now. Moving. Shouldn't trigger the Overwatch. And let's see what I can do over here. 28, 42, 37. If we can get this guy killed, this guy would take a big damage bonus right now going on. Um, an HE grenade would do it? No. I would get rid of this guy's um, cover over here though, but not enough. <clears throat> so I think we just take the shot and hope for the best. It's not a good shot by any means, but we need this shot to land so much and god damn it, we needed some luck right now. I felt like we've had a lot of shitty shots right now. Oh, dude, it actually killed that guy as well? I'm honestly surprised. That much I can tell you. Duff Foods. You're the last person? Okay. You should have a pretty good shot on this guy, too. You could even probably have close to a flank over here. Head into that location. No. That was going to be close to a flank. I think maybe I move him over here, but then this thing's over here in the way. You don't even have a shot now. So that bothers me to some degree. Let me put you into Overwatch. If this guy moves, maybe you'll be able to trigger him. I don't think he's going to take a shot at you right now. What do I know? <laughs> don't take a shot at him. That's what I was hoping for, the Overwatch. Please land us. Or don't land it, it's fine. Same thing, really. <clears throat> Alright. Now Thin Man, what are you going to do? Oh, you're going to move twice. That's actually really good. Keeps you from doing something crazy. Thin Man, you're going to run over here. You take a shot as well. You are. That was a good miss. You were flanked, so that was luckily a really good miss. I could actually sneak up behind these individuals and kill them now. However, we do also need to get up to this person and revitalize them before they die. I, I hope I could do that with Yep. Oh, I can't. Oh, dude. I'm going to lose this person because I don't have enough moves for it. Don't tell me it's going to end this way. That's such a shitty way to go down. What are the chances these are the only two pods in the uh, mission? Really slim, right? Because if they were, I would just feel inclined to rush everybody over here and just get these kills as soon as possible. And then we could rescue that person just by... And my video just cut off again, so sorry for that. So let's see, Duff Foods. <clears throat> what do you have for me over here? You do have a flashbang grenade. It's not going to really do much for us right now, though. But you can run around and actually flank this dude. So I say we definitely do that. Four damage only. Not enough for the... Oh, critical, baby! So good. If this sectoid winds up being the last um, alien, we could probably save cheesy nipples. Otherwise, um, you know, it sucks. It's a terrible way for it to end now, isn't it? So you move over here. And you don't probably have a good shot. 53 isn't too bad. I'm not opposed to just using the HE grenade at this point, though. And um, killing this guy by blowing up the fragments. I don't really care. I just want to have us survive. Or have my my rookie over there survive. I should have probably taken that 53% chance. We're going to find out right now whether it was a good chance or not. Three damage isn't bad. And now he's completely out of cover, too. So it actually makes um, Finley's shot over here easier. Okay. Um, Finley wasn't able to revitalize that person either, right? No. I don't think he had enough movements for it. 72. Land a shot, please. That's not the end of the mission. Alrighty. I, I apologize, Cheesy Nipples. That was a really terrible way to go. I just can't get to you, my friend. I'm going to try to get over there, but it's not going to be enough. Stabilize? Oh! <gasps> Oh, man. Just enough, right? <laughs> okay. Cheesy nipples. You're going to be out for a while, but hey. Um, you're not down. Forever. I mean, you're down, but you're not down forever. So at this point, I think we now we just take a little time and actually just um, regroup. And we're going to just reload. Take it slow. We already got two pods out of the way, which is, you know, a good thing. I mean, that's probably what happened this mission that really threw us off for a curve. Is that we had to deal with two pods at once. And there is another... Metal canister over there, which I would love to get without, you know, necessarily putting anybody in danger. Let me move you over here. And you have to, number one, reload. Okay. Finley. That's already been shut down, so we can't even get that one anymore. Finley. 
do I want to have you dash right now? Yeah, I kind of do. If we could dash over to this, don't run through the acid, please. You. <laughs> okay. Why? I'm not sure why you would see a cloud of green smoke in the air. I think it's a really safe thing for you to do. I would just kind of go around it. Maybe even through here. I should have probably, you know, done the half move and then the actual thing. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I know. Rider like. Let me move you down this way. Again, I'm trying to rush it to that canister. I would love to get that canister in our grasp over here. Putting you in wide open space is not the best Moving scenario, but I don't think we're triggering anything right now. Please don't get acid on you. Okay, you have depth. You and Crimson Bristle are the last individuals here. Crimson Bristle, before you run through that, um, you know, smog of dead, let's not do that. Let me just have you go up through here. Hopefully without triggering anything. You'll be my... Oh, no, you have to need to reload as well, don't you? Reloaded. So, yeah, just reload. Yep, yeah, they're going to have to reload as well. Okay. So, I think for now, you run through this side. And afterward, we'll try to clear the acid off of this guy the next turn. So, because of that, I'm just going to move you over here. You shouldn't be able to trigger anything on this side anyway. Alrighty, again, my, my goal right now is... Um, so, aliens are up there. Good. Something out there. Meaning... This canister should be available to us if we could get to it in time. So at the very least, we do know where the possible alien threat's at. And knowing is half the battle, you know? So, let's see. Heal wound. Oh, you can actually heal yourself. I forgot you had a medkit. Yeah, go ahead. Heal yourself. Makes it easier for us. Now, can anybody actually reach that canister right now? Not really. Yep, is gonna have a good chance at it, but... Not completely. So I could dash you in the next turn you can grab it, right? But let me just have you reload instead. Next turn you should be able to grab it anyway. Okay, you... We do know there's some aliens up there. So we don't necessarily want to get pop up too far ahead. So let me just move you over on this side. Please don't trigger anything just yet. I'm good. And you can just overwatch this turn. The foods, what are you going to be doing? You are going to be running up to... You've been reloaded already as well. So... Running. Run over to this side. I know I just dashed him. But I wanted to get him behind some sort of cover. Right or like. I'm You'll come over on this side as well. Avoid any acid, please. I could throw that battle scanner, but I'm thinking we do that next turn. For now, we could just probably move you over to this side. And make sure that the rest of this area is also clean. We do know the aliens are straight up ahead the other side. But I don't want to get surprised by some other pod on the left hand side over here. Alright, so Yeb Deb, this is your canister. Alright. Four milled. I mean I mean you can't really expect too much early on. But it's something. Now the end of the map is indeed right here, maybe? Yes. So we're we're clear on this side. So Yeb Deb, the other thing I could have you do now is actually just probably Dash over to full cover. Okay. You guys aren't going to be doing much right now. I need to get the whole party reunited here. So you're just going to go into Overwatch in case those guys are patrolling. You, I would love to get over on this side. The foods, bud. Please don't trigger anything right now. Perfect. Finley. You're going to go and just hang out on this side now. And who do we have left? Ryder Like. Reader Leake, you could go over there. It's gonna be half cover. Yes, Commander. I think I even get you an Overwatch here as well. You could trigger something. You didn't, thankfully. And again, we do have that battle scanner. Do I want to toss it now? I know they're gonna be somewhere over here. Let me go into Overwatch just in case those guys are patrolling, because we are getting kind of closer to them now. So they might want to pop a patrol. Okay, they're more towards the right though. Which isn't a bad. Oh, there they come, Thin Men. And we have some Overwatches. Remember. That should hit. He's like literally right in front of you. There's no reason why that should have missed, but okay. Don't scurry behind cover. Okay, please land one. Overwatch is I hate you sometimes. Okay. Really? Sure, just, just walk all the way, like, you know, across the map. That's cool. Alright, so one of my dudes does have a flanking shot. I mean, he just missed an Overwatch, so how comfortable am I with a 62% shot? Kind of comfortable, actually. Uh, let's think about this, though, before we actually decide to do that. 
Deb, you can come over on this side. Mm. I'm, on the move. I'm gonna have you come over on this side right now just because maybe you could kind of flank this guy when we have a chance here. You have no more smoke grenades, you do have your heal things still going on, and you have a steady weapon. <clears throat> I don't see an overwatch being important here because I doubt these guys will be moving other than this guy. So, you know what I'm gonna do? It seems risky, I know. But I think just moving over here and probably getting a flank on this dude the next turn would be pretty nice. What are the chances he run all the way around and actually fuck me over? I hope slim to none. Now, Crimson Bristle. I mean, we gotta take advantage of this right now because we're not overwatching, so this is our chance to move and make some actual good decisions here. Finley, you have no... Does anybody have any grenades? Battle Scanner, Flashbang could be useful. We have two Flashbangs? No, just one. Okay, so we have to use that Flashbang really, really carefully. Finley, you can move over here and probably have a shot, I would say, right? Plus, it is full cover, so we might as well take advantage of that now. Your shot won't be great, but 27, it's not really great. Here's the thing, if he's being flanked, he's going to be compelled to move because of that. So you might just be able to get an overwatch off because of that. And you, I'm really, you're, ha you're in half cover, which bothers me, but I feel like we should, we should take that 62% shot back there. Please land it. Okay, you landed it. It's some damage, so I can't be too mad about that. We have two more people, Crimson Bristle, and we also have Duff Foods over here. So, let's think about this carefully. I could go on the roof. Do I want to do that? No, not really. We have a flashbang. Do I save this flashbang for the overwatches that will probably happen, or do we just ruin their accuracy for this turn? I think it's probably not a bad idea to ruin their accuracy this turn. However, you do have to move out of the way to get this to happen, right? There's no full cover anywhere. I mean, you could literally hunker down next to him. <laughs> How good of an idea is that? Okay. We're going to find out. Okay, so I'm doing this for a reason. I am not completely inept. I do somewhat have an idea as to what I want to do here. 61 is not a bad shot to take. Because, again, he will be more than likely moving because he, does, he is being flanked. I want to go with the flash, though, just to ruin his accuracy of movement next turn. Let's get, let's think about this. Let's think about that move. Crimson Bristle, you can move over here and probably have a decent shot at him. Not a great shot, but just decent. You have nothing else going for you anyway. The problem is that you're going to be wide open, so then this guy can just come around and shoot you, and we don't really necessarily want that happening. So let me have you come over on this side. What is your shot looking like right now? It's 37. First chance to hit. Go into Overwatch as well. The foods, I'm really reconsidering this move. I, I feel like I acted a little bit too brash on it, to say the least. I can still move him over here and hopefully be secure. Or I can take the shot. Thing is, they won't be a kill. I can flash him as well. I'm going to flash this motherfucker over here. I'm pretty sure this, um... Then man has to move because he's being flanked. He's going to be compelled to move because of that flank. That's usually how it works. You're going to move as well. You're going to go back. You're going to trigger an overwatch. Please don't trigger all of them. But you trigger the one that killed you, so... Great. This guy here. I flashed him. Please don't land a shot on me. Acid. Okay, we could deal with that. You need to move. No overwatches, really. That's surprising to me. Did we have two people in overwatch? You went all the way around. That's fine. Okay. So we got the... Uh, at least we got the leader out of the way. Now we just need to deal with his um, little cronies over here. Duff Foods, you are in acid, which is a problem. So what I'm going to do with you is just probably hunker down. It's probably the best bet right now. So you will be hunkering just so you don't take any damage from that acid. You could run to me. To Jeb Dub. But, I don't feel too great about that. So yeah, just hunker down for this turn. At the very least, you have full cover, so that's fine. Finley. Finley, Finley, Finley. 
You can move over here. Not gonna have that much of a good shot, though. Bristle, what do you have for me? Honestly, with Bristle, I'm a little inclined. If I could only make it, I would go all the way around here. Don't run through the acid. Don't run through the acid. <sighs> Alrighty, so after this mission, we need to not dash everywhere. Even if I know the ultimate goal is that, I need to actually make a move first and then take the other route because fuck, man, it's the second time it's happened this mission and I'm really upset with that. You can make it over here, which is good. I almost did it again, didn't I? Okay. <laughs> Last moves over here. Now, the reason why I'm, don't fire. The reason why I'm moving those people in dash is because I'm thinking of just flanking from the sides, right? That's my ultimate goal right now. Rider like, you could run over here. You'll probably be in danger if you do that. That's acid right there, so we don't want to get involved with that either. We know they're not overwatching this turn, so that's fine. 36 is not really worth it to me. So I'm almost inclined to go over here. This guy's on that side, right? On the move. Yeah, you come over on this side then. Okay, now you do have a flank in that guy, so that'll probably compel him to move as well. Yebdeb is kind of the wild card here. Yebdeb could come all the way over on this side. And maybe even have a shot on the dude who ran off earlier. Not quite. 53? 63. Which one do we take? He's gonna move. I'm not sure about this guy. But this guy over here is gonna move. So we take the shot on this dude, I would say. Critical, enough for the kill, perfect. And that'll be the... This guy's turn. Please don't be an asshole. You're just gonna be an asshole, aren't you? Oh yeah, sure. Point blank. Point blank in the face. You know, they're normally not that aggressive. Like, they, I rarely ever have them come, like, next to me in my face. So that was actually a little bit surprising. Ah, <sighs> two people digging out in one mission. Not happy about it. Let's see. At least they're not dead, but, you know, they're gonna be... Gravely injured for quite a while. You come over on this side, Finley. And you will go into Overwatches, maybe? Yeah, I would say he's going to Overwatch right now. You are the one that could essentially kill this guy, Ryder Like. It's all up to you, though. And how well you want to do with that. Um, let's see here. You are going to run over here, Crimson Bristle. You're an asset. I forgot about that. Forgot all about the, um... You're gonna have a terrible overwatch because of the acid. I just realized that. And the people that... The person that could heal your acid has actually been knocked out. So, hey. We're looking really good right here. That's affirmative. Don't panic. Just don't panic right now. Okay, you go into overwatch. <clears throat> Alright, Ryder. All right, Ryder, do we send you over here to flank and get this, uh, hopefully, the kill? Or do we just um, play it safe? Mind you, it would have to be a critical. You wouldn't kill him this way. I mean, you'd have to get lucky to do it, but... Do I just play it safe? Is the other concerning part of this whole endeavor? I mean, if you don't get this kill, you're dead. Is the problem. We kind of have to go for it, right? There's a lot of... I mean, you need to stabilize that individual, too, so... 60% crit, police landed. Out of ammo here. Well, Ryder like you've um, essentially made your choices in life here. Overwatch... Pl of course, why would any of my Overwatches land this mission? Actually, one of them did land. And these people are under the effect of acid. That's the reason why they're missing. Oh, thank God! Finley with the clutch kill! <laughs> oh, please. Oh, God. We lost nobody. A lot of d bad mistakes were made this mission. <laughs> I'll be the first one to admit that. But we survived it, and that's what kind of matters, I guess. Not happy about my people being out for an entire month. That was really poorly played, honestly. I think I've gotten a little bit too comfortable with how well the missions were going earlier, than now I'm just kind of like, you know, playing a little bit more reckless. Nobody to blame but myself. Uh, the food. Do you have a pretty decent accuracy going on over here? I could turn you into, like, a scout, but I could also... Turn you as a sniper. I think I have enough snipers right now, though, so I think scouts are always a welcome endeavor to us. Um, let's see. What do we have here? Finley. 
My man Finley. With that clutch kill. Uh, medic? Or grenadier? Or a reroll? I don't think we could ever have enough medics, honestly. But at the same time, I have a lot of medics already. But you know what? Let's make you a medic. That's how my train of thought works here. Cheesy Nipples is out, but at least she did level up before she went out. So at least she'll come back as specialist. Um, you have really good aim. Uh, I don't want to make you another medic. Neither are Grenadier. So let's um, re-roll you into an assault. That's fine. That'll work out for me. I like my assaults as well. Love to run and gun. Especially because I dash a lot, so it kind of just goes hand in hand. Crimson Bristle. You have really good aim, so let's try to think about making you an infantry here. Alrighty. So, um, two people are going to be out for a while. The medic doesn't really hurt me too much because we do have a few extra medics. This one, it's unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. It's three sectoid corpses, four thin man corpse, alien alloy, weapon fragments, and five meld, and a seeker wreck. Alrighty. We will be in touch, Commander. So that's it, guys. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. A lot of errors, I know. You're, you're, feel free to lambast me about them. I made a lot of terrible decisions in that one, but, you know, I kind of played it a little bit too risky, and I gotta kind of tone it back a little bit. I think my restlessness is kind of getting to me where I hate having to play so defensive but at the same time not playing defensive gets you killed as we almost saw luckily we not we lost nobody hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode still though again keep leaving your tips and your comments everything always helps other than that I will catch you guys next time oh and next episode we should have a new batch of renames I'll catch you guys then